Hey everyone, if you're looking to build a budget gaming or video editing PC without spending a fortune on a separate GPU in 2023, the Ryzen 5600G might be just what you need. This budget CPU was released back in April of 2021, so how does it perform two years later in 2023? Let's take a closer look at the pros and the cons, and then I will attempt to do a Ryzen 5600 build for those super budget users, and then we'll run some performance tests. First, let's talk about the pros and why I still like this CPU. So the Ryzen 5600G is based on AMD's Zen 3 architecture, which means it's highly efficient and delivers great performance for the price. It has six cores and 12 threads, which is more than enough for most games and applications, it has 16 megabytes of L3 cache and operates at 3.9 gigahertz by default. And of course, it comes with integrated graphics, which means you don't need to buy a separate GPU to get started. Now, you might be thinking that integrated graphics can't possibly be good enough for gaming or video editing in 2023, but that's not entirely true, and we're going to test that later. The Ryzen 5600G comes with AMD's Vega graphics, which are surprisingly capable. Now, you obviously won't be able to play the latest AAA games at ultra settings, but you can definitely play most games at 1080 with decent frame rates. I would say it's probably comparable to something like the GT 1030. And when it comes to video editing, the Ryzen 5600G can actually handle quite a lot. We will do some video editing 4K footage test later on to see how it performs. Another advantage of the Ryzen 5600G is its power consumption. Since it doesn't require a separate GPU, it consumes less power than a comparable system with a discrete graphics card. This means lower electricity bills and less heat generated, which can be a concern if you're building a small form factor PC. So these are some of the pros of the Ryzen 5600G, but what about the cons? Well, the biggest disadvantage is that it's not as powerful as a dedicated CPU and GPU combo. If you're a serious gamer or video editor, you might find that the Ryzen 5600G just doesn't cut it. You might experience some lag or stuttering in demanding games or applications, especially if you're running them at high settings. And another issue is that the Ryzen 5600G doesn't support PCI Express 4.0, which means you won't be able to take advantage of the latest high-speed SSDs or graphic cards. This might not be a big deal right now, but it could limit your upgrade options in the future. But with that said, if you're on a tight budget or want to build a small form factor PC, the Ryzen 5600G is definitely worth considering. So let's jump straight into the build and the test. Let's go. All right, so after testing out the Ryzen 5 5600G, I'm pretty impressed. You can find some of these sub $150 brand new, and you could basically build a video editing and gaming PC 
for sub $300 or $400. This is a full video editing or gaming PC for these price points. Granted, this is more of a 1080p low setting gaming PC, but hey, you're still getting great FPS. For video editing, this absolutely works fine. I showed that this handles everything I threw at it and even handled 4K pretty good. While this is good enough for video editing, if you're gonna be doing heavy rendering work, I wouldn't recommend the iGPU. I would get a dedicated video card like the RTX 3060. Now, the only reason why I wouldn't get the 5600G is if you need more processor cores and if you don't need an iGPU. And the other reason is that if you wanna more future-proof your PC to grow with the new DDR5 memory, you're also limited to PCI Express 3.0. But for most budget gamers and video editors, I think this is still a great option in 2023. You really don't need to buy more than you need and fall into like a hype trap. It's like buying a double Big Mac when you can only eat a regular one. Wait, you can't buy a double Big Mac anymore, right? What? So, what are your thoughts on the Ryzen 5 5600G? Let me know your comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.